so great to walk onto the Wigmore Hall stage and look out at this beautiful auditorium. I think it's one of the few halls where you, you look out and the view looking out is as good as the view looking from the audience. And it's got its history written all over it and it's comfortable, it's velvety and welcoming somehow. And the sound in the hall is just marvellous whether you're speaking or singing. From, from the audience point of view it's lovely you have this beautiful backdrop and a lovely curved stage which of course gives it its great sound and from the artist's point of view you come out and see the wonderful Wigmore Auditorium. It's very special. I've recently become a trustee of the Wigmore and from, from being a young artist to a <laughs> to an old artist, I suppose I never really thought about what it took to run such a place. I was just busy doing my concerts and worrying myself silly about getting it right. But now I understand that ticket sales can't provide all the money needed to maintain a, an extraordinary artistic programme such as is offered to the public in the Wigmore Hall. The shortfall is something like a million pounds a year, which has to be found from somewhere. We've had a marvellous decade in terms of audience support. Uh, we've raised something like, uh, from annual fundraising and capital appeal, £16 million uh, over the last 10 years. We refurbished the hall in 2004, a new seating in the auditorium, much needed air cooling, which means we can program concerts right up until the end of July now. And we refurbished the downstairs facilities, we've, we've got a better restaurant. The onus is on us to, to continue flying the flag, particularly for the song recital, for the string quartet, for early music, for, for all of this wonderful, uh, small, intimate music making yes. that, that we, that we uh, put on here. You go into the green room here and see all the people that have performed here over the years and one feels so lucky to be part of a line of all those artists who've, who've loved the place. I think it's essential that this hall should stay, should continue to be a, a centre for chamber music, for song. It's unthinkable that anything should happen to the Wigmore Hall. It must survive, it must be home to new generations of, of chamber musicians and singers. We certainly should be so proud to have a hall like this in London. I am very proud to be the public face of the legacy appeal for the Wigmore. Nobody likes to think about dying and wills and things, but it is a marvellous way to help for all the people that have loved spending time in this extraordinary place, either in the audience or on the stage. I think to leave a gift to the Wigmore would be a very wonderful thing to do. I am, and I hope that I can encourage some of you to do the same. Yeah.